Ziggy. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to day two of my daily producer vlog challenge. I hope you guys are doing amazing. If you haven't checked out the last video, it will be linked up in the annotations above. Today's video, I'm just gonna be focusing on making some samples, some loops. I wanna kinda show you how I go about doing that, the plugins that I use in order to get really cool sounding effects and all that. But before we get into this video, please leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and go follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I post a ton of tips, tricks, and daily content for you guys to enjoy. That being said, let's get into this video. All right, so. So I have something down. We have an idea down. Now all we have to do is take that idea and kind of clean it up, add a couple of little uh, embellishments, little extra little bits in there. All right, let's add something else on top of that. Let's see what we can do. Right now you can hear that there are a couple of sound effects on top of that uh, sound that I was just playing. Um, and in a second, I'll show you exactly what that is. It's a cool little idea. You know, it sounds kind of retro, kind of cool. I just keep layering and keep adding ideas. That's the whole point of how I make melodies. Just keep coming up with ideas, keep adding more. We'll split this by channels. Okay, so that's an idea. Everything's now recorded. I think I'm happy with the way the sounds and the next step is I, I want to show you how I processed those sounds that I have, how I've routed them, what plugins I'm using. It's fairly basic, it's fairly straightforward, but I think you'll still find it very, very useful and insightful. So now that we have all of those individual parts recorded and everything is just how I want it to sound, I want to kind of show you how I've processed this. So basically, I'm using a plugin by a company called Audio Things, and the plugin is called Reels, as you can see it on my screen right now. Um, I chose the baked preset. This plugin, basically what it does is it's a tape machine and an echo effect plugin. And with this plugin, you can kind of get those um, really vintage crackly sounds. You can also get the moving pitch and all that. I'm going to let you hear what it does on and off so you can get an idea of how it sounds. This is with, without. Pretty drastic difference, I'd say. So, so with the tape section, I am kind of um, making it making it sound warm and old. The harshness is adding a little bit of distortion, saturation. The wow and flutter is adding a little bit of pitch wobbling up and down. Hear the difference? So 
So that's what that does. Kind of have it right in the middle. Um, and then I have the hiss turned up right down to the middle and the motor noise right there as well. And that's about it. Uh, let's see if we can turn this into a beat. All right, we'll add in every two step. Yeah, that sounds dope. Okay, so the beat is done. I want to play the finished beat for you, but I think um, when you hear it, um, uh, I think you'll find it to be pretty fire. Dab. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Before we close up this video, I wanna give a big old shout out to all the people that have commented on yesterday's video. Before we go, there is the question of the day, which is what is your go-to favorite plugin that you absolutely cannot live without? I'll leave the question pinned at the top. Reply to that comment, letting me know what your favorite plugin is that you absolutely cannot live without. That being said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Peace.